and welcome to the Bucks Art Society Centenary Show at Bucks County Museum. I'm Mel Chapsky, the Curator of Art here at the Museum. And as we've had to close due to the pandemic, after the exhibition was only open for a couple of days, I thought I'd take you round the exhibition and pick out five of my favourite works for you to see today. The Bucks Art Society have been in existence for 100 years and they include many professional and semi-professional artists, um, among, including among the very best of artistic work in Buckinghamshire and it includes all manner of artists. The first picture that I'd like to talk to you about today is The Colours of Marrakesh. Um, a watercolour by Diana Sheldon and I chose it just because it reminded me so much of visiting Marrakesh over 20 years ago. There was a, a great sense of sunlight um, and warmth and the lovely stone that um, the buildings are made from and the colours that are used in the dyeing and um, textiles that are produced in the city. You can't go to Marrakesh and not come home with a carpet. And you get the impression with this one that just around the corner somebody is serving mint tea and um, it's just capturing so much of the, the warmth and sunlight that we're missing on this um, grey January morning. We're now moving on. You'll see in our main gallery that we are, we've been able to feature many different types of uh, work, ceramics, sculptures, prints, paintings, like to talk about a sculpture next. This is a bronze resin carved sculpture by a sculptor called Judy Cowper who specialises in these kind of stylized figures. This one is called Lorelei and it relates to the German legend of the beautiful maiden Lorelei who sat on a big rock on the side of the river Rhine and waited for her lover to come back to her. And when he never came, she cast herself into the river and was turned into a mermaid um, and a, a siren who then lured fishermen to their deaths on the rocks. And we can see here how, where she is perched on a rock as a mermaid um, with her beautiful long hair and her fishy tail. I'd now like to talk about one of the many Butts landscapes that are in this show. Um, many of our artists are, are greatly inspired by the um, Butts landscape and um, the artist here is called Christine Bass and um, the picture I, I'm talking about is Steps Hill on, at the, um, on the Ridgeway. Um, Christine has a very interesting um, mixed media um, approach to her paintings where she starts with a detailed drawing of a scene um, builds up a layer of tissue paper over the drawing, um, redrawing where necessary, and then adds acrylic paint um, to introduce an element of colour. And so you get a very textured finish. Um, Christine spent much of her early life in Trinidad, and you get a really strong sense of colour with her work. Um, there are actually three lovely works um, here in the show. 
um, one of Tring Park, one of um, the Ridgeway, and one of Wilston Reservoir. The next picture I'd like to talk about is a portrait. It's by the artist Mark Fennell, who is extremely well known as a portrait painter. Um, this is a little self-portrait by him. Um, but the painting um, that caught my attention today is this one of Len, who is a World War II veteran. And I love the way that a really good portrait can capture the character of a person. Um, we can see that Len is, a, is an elderly man. He's obviously had a lot of different experiences in his life. He's probably seen horrible things in the war. I don't know sort of which of the services he, he was part of um, or where he saw action. Um, but I think Mark has really captured um, the sense of an of an elderly man um, sitting in his chair, I love the way his, uh, his trousers are held up by braces and you can see he wears a, a sort of a vest under his shirt. But um, that, that is a face, a very characterful face um, that has lived a long life and seen many things. We have so many wonderful paintings that I was, I was really spoiled for choice and I could have happily chosen any of these paintings um, and talked to you about them. I will finish with, um, for my fifth picture, I decided to choose a still life. Um, the word, or the term still life, often conjures up images of a, um, a vase of flowers or a bowl of fruit, but any group of objects can form a still life. Um, and this is a watercolour on paper by Patricia Rosenthal and um, it's called For Good Measure and she has picked a selection of everyday objects that you might find perhaps in your garage or shed, um, an oil can, a tape measure um, and some keys and um, little odd jars and things and she has brought them together and painted them in incredible detail. So much so that from a distance you might even think, you know, it's, it's a photograph. Um, and um, it reminds me perhaps a little of um, the Dutch 17th century artists and the, the um, Netherlandish painters who, who also painted in terrific detail to capture the, the surface of objects. And um, she's made this little group of objects, she's given it a sort of monumentality by bringing them together, spacing them carefully, and showing that anything is worthy of study, and you get this nice sense of sort of contemplation um, and calmness um, when you look at these, these still lives.
We're delighted that so many of the um, Buckingham Art Society artists were able to um, contribute paintings to our show. Um, we're deeply sorry that they had to close so quickly, um, but we do hope that we will be open again um, before the exhibition is due to close on the 20th of March. And uh, it is well worth a visit. The majority of the paintings here are for sale and um, well, I really do believe there is something for everyone here. Thank you.